All right, you are listening to WMNF Tampa 88.5 FM. Musicians Wanted is now the show. I am your host, RJ. Thanks for tuning in. So tonight on the live music portion of the show, Drop and Pick Up is going to join me in the live music studio. They are no stranger to performing here live at WMNF. Uh, six or so members of the group, varying backgrounds. What they do is they pre- basically produce an entirely new sound with competitive lyrics, passionate performances, and diverse and energetic musicality. But don't take my word for it. We will hear from them soon enough. So we are going to join Drop and Pick Up in the live music studio. The boys should be, and gals, should be warmed up by now, ready to go. Can you guys hear me okay? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. All right, when you're ready, take it away. I'll jump back there. This first song is called It's In You.
Yeah. Sounds fantastic. Thank first of all, you. first of all, thanks for coming in no, this no, night thank on Sunday. You. It's thank fantastic. You. So, little little known fact, uh, Mike, Mike and Milo were, were back on my Center Stage show. You guys were my first guests ever. Ever. On the show. I didn't know that. Yeah, didn't yeah, know remember? That. Remember, you came out. Why'd you tell us that? Two, I just did. <laughs> <laughs> two, <laughs> two guys and a guitar came out. It was, man, like five, four years, five, four years ago, four yeah, or five years ago. Take, yeah. And uh, you, were just, you were just getting off the ground with this whole thing. And I was like, hey, okay, good luck. Now we're flying. Really? Seriously, look at this. I mean, you come back, you have a whole menagerie going on here. Do, do you want to go around um, and just introduce everybody, or does, does someone want to take the lead on that? Yeah, it's fine. Um, I am Mike Farrell. I'm a lead vocalist and hand percussionist. You have Denny Emperors on the drums over there. Hey. You got Mila Buitrago on the guitar and backup vocals. You have Chase Wilder Collins on the bass. Good evening. <laughs> on the backup vocals. You have Jackson Harp on the trumpet. Yeah. Nick Ewing on the violin, viola. And you have Gab Yarn on the back of Bubbles. Hey. <laughs> we are dropping big up. And the first song we heard from you guys was It's In You. Yes, sir. And, um, and uh, a little bit about that song in, in just a second, but I kind of want to get in. So how, did, how did this happen? I mean, you know, two guys in a guitar, and now it's, it's a full-fledged thing. Uh, everything needs more music when you look at it. When you listen to it, it's not the full sound you're imagining in, at first. You know, you have a guitar and vocals, and you're like, this needs something else to really back up the sound it, it requires to be a song, you know? The songs can be guitar and vocals, but at the same time, you want more to incorporate into your music you know and so we found different members throughout the years that really lined up with what we we're trying to make so it matched up uh as it is right now so we had the seven members varying and then people come and go as they can and we play music and that's the way it works yeah what uh what best way for people to find out about you guys and upcoming shows and all that stuff there's any any form of media you can find you got twitter facebook instagram drop and pick com, the website and uh internet and we should say that's that's d-r-o-p-i-n <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. drop and pick up dot com. You can find them on there. Anything coming up recently? You guys want to talk about real quick? Prior or coming up, or coming either up. coming up that people can come and see you. <laughs> that. That's up. Uh, our next show will be in January. January tenth. January tenth. It's going to be what, Nick? Ebor City Rocks. Ebor City Rocks. Nick, Nick didn't know. It's a venue down at Gaspar's Grotto, and our own drummer here, Denny Humphries, put it all together with uh, I think forty some bands, if not more, playing three different stages at Gaspar's Grotto. And it's going to be an all-day event, brilliant place, and great time. So make sure you get out there. It's free, free of charge. And there's going to be all sorts of drink specials and great music the whole day. So Fantastic. <laughs> Do you say free? free. The magic word, right? Um, so Musicians Wanted is the show. If you're just now tuning in, drop and pick up in here with me tonight. It's in you. First song we heard, and uh, we're just going to keep on trucking as, as the hour plays out so you can hear what they're all about. Best way to learn about you guys is through your music, right? So whenever you're ready, you want to take it away with another one? You got it. This Please. song is called Castaway. See you anymore You're hiding in another door You're 
You guys have an album out now, right? Yes. Just came out? Yes. Yes. How many songs are on there? It's got 10 tracks on there. Fantastic. It's, and then dropandpickup.com is the best place people can find that? Or at our shows, absolutely. Anywhere. Okay, pick it up yeah. at shows. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, totally. The songs we're hearing tonight, are they on there? They most certainly are. Okay, fantastic. They're on iTunes. Oh, you're on iTunes too? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. iTunes, Rhapsody, <clears throat> Napster, Amazon, anything <laughs> you can find. <laughs> anything you can find music, you can find you. Yep. Yeah, fantastic. I, I wanted to ask, because you guys got... Um, kind of a jam band set up a little bit almost and and then all these different instruments that can go nuts at any given time right. so when you actually did the album we actually sat down and recorded the 10 songs did that change how you how you played them live at, at all or, or did you try to constrain constrain yourself on the album i think we played better after we yeah when you when you record the songs you have something set in stone that's this is the way we want it to sound but you can also expand upon that at some point in the future so it always gives you a base to start off with okay so you, you kind of freed you up a little bit more absolutely yeah that's cool and then with, with, with the album uh, coming out, did you find that changed at all with the shows? Like people coming out to the shows, did that, did that get your bass out a little bit more or, or how that work? We've always had a steady uh, foundation of support. It's just incredible. Uh, we've got a lot of friends and family and then just out, outside of that, it just, just keeps growing, you know, so it's, uh, we're grateful for that. And they always come to the shows. They always support us any way they can. And throughout the CD process, I think they just, just they just waiting for it. It's been like a year in the making and they're like, come on, where's the CD? And we're like, you know, we're working <laughs> right now, so give us some time. And so they've been supportive nonstop and uh, we're thankful for that. Where know? did you record? It was actually a friend's incredible home studio. Really? Yes. Okay. It was all, all there? Like, it was all done there and mixed there and everything? Yep, everything was there, yep. Fantastic. Did you guys produce it yourselves? Uh, no. We, so, were, we were there in the process. It was helping out and assisting and making sure the songs were our vision, but we didn't actually do the work behind it, you know? Okay. Well, I'm, now, that I'm always curious about, when you, when you actually give it over to somebody else. Yeah, me too. Know? I was a little hesitant at first. Yeah. Moment. like so, so how did that you – said, you said you were there. You were kind of guiding through the process. But the, was that a little nerve-wracking? A little bit because you never know if they're going to mess with your song in a, in a different way you're imagining. So you got to make sure somebody's there just guiding the song the way it's supposed to be that you have in mind. So. And you always, you always have the opportunity to uh, you know, say no yeah, and say, you know, I don't like the way you did this. I don't like the way you did this. And can we fix this? And that's how you know that's how it that's how it happens. They'll, he mixed it every you know mixed a couple here and there, and then he would present them to us. And as a band, we'd collectively go through them and say, "This is what I like, and this is what I don't like, and what are we willing to compromise on?" And uh, so we can make everybody happy. It's hard, you know, it's hard to make six dudes happy. So. <laughs> yeah, and I think from an outsider's perspective too, you're imagining just a CD being made. You're not even thinking about the hard work goes into it, the the long hours, the remixes, the remakes, the tracking and retracking, erasing a whole track and doing it all over again. So it's just a long, tedious process. And so we had to go through it multiple times, different songs, different ideas, doing a whole track and realizing, wait, that's not what we want at all. It's too fast. I'm going to do a whole song all over again. So. Yeah. And, and the song we just heard was, was Castaway? Yes, sir. Can we talk a little bit about that? We can. Yeah. Whenever, is this the inspiration behind that? Uh, the inspiration behind the song is uh, I used to live with a roommate back in Muscle Chapel, and he, uh, he had some, some demons, I'd say, you know, and he wouldn't really talk about them. But th- for me, demons are a uh, – it can be a light at some points, as opposed to being negative dark places, they can also guide you to where you want to be. Instead of where you're looking backwards and not realizing what you don't want, you take that and use it as a positive reinforcement, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's just it's letting those things build you up instead of bring you down. Okay. Right. Gotcha. And if you're just now tuning in, drop and pick up, sitting in here with me on Musicians Wanted, that's the show. I'm your host, Ryan R.J. Areskovich, Castaway, and It's In You are the songs that we heard. You can hear those on the album. Uh, which you can find on their website. You can also pick that up January 10th. They're going to be at Gaspar's Grotto, and you can pick it up there. And then also on iTunes, everywhere, just type in their name. It'll come up in Google. You guys want to jump into another one? Yes, sir. Sweet. This song is called Heart of Steel. I'm 
She left me for dead Never said to where she headed away There was no reason for such a treason A season handed in cold After all we built You have no guilt To steal and kill some more It wouldn't have mattered all that much Except I told her that I was in love It breaks a man in two To go through what she took oh, 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 oh. Me, yeah and pick up here on musicians wanted okay so that one that one sounds like it's grown a bit and stop me if i'm wrong on that it definitely has yeah so when when you're okay when was that song written i would say 2011 or 12 probably. did you always hear like a violin background when, you, when you wrote it nick so how, no, how the band that, never know because <laughs> yeah. because it sounds so natural with it right you know and it's like it had to have been in there somehow but i guess not i just came in and, and put it in right yeah, right Right. Okay. So we have a lot of parts that maybe were written before, and then we we transfer them over to other instruments so it can embody the song better. You know. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Did, did, can we talk about the song for a second? Absolutely. Yeah, go ahead. Dive into it. Uh, I was heartbroken. You know, people, <laughs> people go through that. <laughs> Simply so uh, I had this just just this pain in my heart for a long time. I had nothing, no way to express it. So I, me looking at these chords, I started thinking about it. I was listening and to myself in the car. I started singing this, this, this what I thought was catchy melody. And I started singing. I was like, yes, that, that captures that moment, that, that time in my life. So I used that. And that was a song that made for me. It's, it's a really heartbreaker. It's like, oh, man, he must have been in so much pain. And I was, which is a good thing and bad thing because a great song came out of it. Um, so, yeah, the song's dedicated to that. You know. <laughs> that was one of the first songs that... A song uh, dedicated to pain. <laughs> that was one of the first songs that I had seen them play um, live. And it was so well put together uh, as far as structure that... I didn't think it was theirs initially. I thought it was. I thought they were covering somebody. Uh, and the lyrics are well written, and um, the structure of the actual lyrics in the within the song are, is really nice and pleasing to the ear as well. So, uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't think it was their song. I Thank thought you, that was Chase. Remarkable. Thank you. Compliment <laughs> received. Them. Compliments from the bass player. It doesn't get any better than that. Exactly. Right. It's a rare occurrence. So, it, it is. So enjoy it while it's while it lasts. <laughs> It's what? recorded though, right? This is it is recorded, recorded yeah. It's Well, it's recorded now, yeah. It's down. It's, it's down. Oh, you man. can't take those Everybody back. Heard I messed up. You can't take time I back, man. Up. That's a song right there. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'd like to talk about the wiring process for a second. Does it start with, with the, the, an idea or does it start with, oh, that's a cool lick? Yeah, and it goes. Whatever anywhere, you're going through. Whatever sound comes through and you get inspiration from that, you just go from there. If it sounds good, you go with it and you make something out of it. That's what happens. How, how did it change with, with, with the guys coming around? Like, did, did that change at all with now that yeah, you're thinking, oh, well, maybe you got to put the violin in there. The trumpet's got to kind of get in there in the mix. I mean, how does that change your there's writing a, style? There, I think there's a deeper thought process now. You think about, wait, I think it's actually harder at times because you have more to work with. Like, kind of like going to any any store and seeing so many options. You're like, well, do I want this and this instead of just, you know, chocolate and vanilla, you know? So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a harder process, but it's actually better at the same time because it makes you work harder to make a better song as opposed to just guitar and vocals. Right. So, yeah. Can we jump into another one? Yes, sir. What are we going to hear? This song is called Invincible.
thousand ones they say Heard Invincible by Drop and Pickup, and they're playing here live on Musicians Wanted here in WMNF Community Conscious Radio. So, the album you said took a year to uh, roughly. Well, I guess the entire process of with writing and uh, making the songs and the recording process took probably about three, four years. You know, just okay. to just to get the right songs and the right members and the right sound. So, and, and I imagine during that, well, during like the actual recording process, that was in the forefront of everyone's mind. You know, getting in there, getting that album out. So now it's done, it's pressed, it's out there. So what, what's the goal now? now? What's, what's, what, what are we doing moving forward? Um, We're going on tour. Nick said it. Are we yeah. going on tour? We We're are going. going. Well, tour. that's the plan. You know, things can, there can be some obstacles we'll see, but that's the uh, vision we have in mind. We're going to go on tour, hopefully East Coast, Little Midwest, and wherever, wherever it takes us. We're in the preliminary planning stages of it right now. We haven't... Uh, we haven't uh, put it all quite together yet, but we're working on it. Like like bus and everything, or, or uh, cars like a, and like Hondas? A mini, and... Like a mini bus. Yeah, yeah. Cars part of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's part of the plan. Yes. Throwing the drums in the truck of the Civic. And... A few of us will walk. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anybody listening out there, if you, uh, if you know us or you, sp- you appreciate you support us, um, tell your friends and family around the, around the way, anywhere they live, and we can always stop there and... Give us a place to crash and some showers and keep us clean and healthy. Right? You Nick, guys doing like Nick a... needs showers <laughs> costs like four times a day, at least. Are you guys Are you guys doing like a GoFundMe type thing with it, or like a Kickstarter type thing? Um, I think we're more grassroots, but we had we had uh, I think it was a Kickstarter form of the CD. So it's always you want to be too inundating with what you ask for people. So yeah. um, I think this is good enough where it is, and we can we can support ourselves with our merchandise and our gigs. But any help we all we always take. So people oh, yeah, offer, totally. Right. You don't have to tell me twice, man. Community radio. We go to everyone exactly. every day. This, like, hey, keep us on the air. It's such a great station. Yeah. Yeah. Write us a check. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Especially those fun drives. You listen to the radio. It's like every five minutes talking about fun drives. Oh, yeah. You have yeah. to. Yeah. Five yeah. minutes. Ooh, that's generous. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do want to thank, uh, before I forget here, Alistair coming in and getting us all mic'd Very up. Very much so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. It sounds great, my friend. Thank you so much. It's awesome. And then, uh, yeah, if you're just now tuning in, uh, you're missing a kick-ass set. Uh, we had Invincible, which we're going to talk about in a second. Heart of Steel, Castaway, It's in You. And speaking of which, can we talk about Invincible? Oh, yeah. Invincible is a uh, kind of a stick to the man kind of song because um, there's a lot of things that you see going wrong in the world. You can't really, you don't feel like you can do something about. So this is our outlet out, outside of activism. So this is our way of talking about things that are happening. So it's just a... Uh, I don't know, evaluating the world, you know, one of those deep insight songs and saying, hey, let's be better, you know? Yeah. It must be, see, it's so cool that you can have that, that musical outlet. Like, I, I get pissed and it's just like, ah, I'm pissed, you <laughs> right. know? And then you, get, you get pissed and you write a song. Some people have a sport. Write a song about it. it. Right. <laughs> like to hear it, here it goes. It doesn't always translate that directly, though. Uh, you know, like, oh, I'm, I'm mad. And so you write about, a, you know, whatever you're mad about. But sometimes it comes out in a different uh, you know, a different vein, and and it seems, it seems unrelated, but it you know, it's it's all up to interpretation. So, 
Has, do, it's a lot of fun to write. Yeah, oh, totally, yeah. And, and do the songs grow as you play them? As far as uh, the lyrics, I imagine, do they pretty much stay solid? For the most part, yeah. Every now and again, you, I, I am very particular when I, with my lyrics that I write. And I just, I, sometimes they hit me the wrong way. I'm like, ah, oh, that, that word just doesn't, doesn't capture the right feeling. Um, but overall, yeah, the songs do grow big time, especially yeah. with different members and the, the bass foundation exponentially. Have you ever listened back and, and said, oh, the hell was I thinking? All the time, <laughs> all the time. Dude. I'm always curious about that because now that it's on an album too, right? Like you yeah. can listen to yourself. Well, that one, that's why we had to make sure it was done right. And for the most part, it is. There's some little things like ah, oh, maybe I could have done that better, but we yeah. can't change it. So it's like I'm, I'm happy with it. We're satisfied. So. Yeah. Well, it sounds fantastic tonight. You guys Thank sound you. amazing. Thank so you. let's jump into another one. Let's keep the kids entertained. You got it. This song is called Poseidon.
love it when they just end like that. <laughs> no closure. It's fantastic. fantastic. Exactly. I'm left hanging. Um, ran up and, and during that song and, and checked. You guys are getting some some good comments coming in. If you guys want to comment on the show, DJ at WMNF.org is a good email. Uh, you can also uh, follow this show on Twitter at Local Music Radio and uh, send your comments there. But people are loving it, man. You got three new fans hey. from tonight. And that's all. That's all that matters, right? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Bye. What was that? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> There's a mouse in the room somewhere. So Poseidon was, was the name of that song. The outro for that was phenomenal. I love the harmonies on that. Thank you. Can, can we talk about the song for a second? Uh, the song originally was written, well, it didn't change when it was written, but uh, uh, about depression because same thing in life. You go through different emotions and you experience those and you got to write about them because otherwise they just eat you up. And uh, we had a friend pass uh, several months ago and it's become more powerful over time. And it means so much more because of that. And uh, yeah, that's I, that's why I love and hate songs at the same time because they they empower the feelings you want and don't want at the same time. So it's uh, a it's a it's a focus. It focuses on the uh, you know there's a really heavy ocean theme to that song and the kind of oscillating uh, way that we experience life. Sometimes a lot of ups and downs, a lot of. Uh, you know, a lot of left and right too. So, gotta that's uh, that's the focus of that song, I think. And uh, I may I may be off base, but the the end of that is kind of like a cool, almost let like a letting go type right. thing. Right. Our uh, hopeful or what I'm getting from it. Aspirations, yeah. All, yeah. The, all the above, yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. Does do, do, do songs like that will, will they ever hit you so much that you, you can't play them? You know, like like if you mean to play it live, you got it in the set list, and then all of a sudden, yeah, I just can't do it. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> for for me personally, it's it, well. I think it's it's one of our bigger songs. I would say it's kind of our jumping off point. People heard that song and think, "Wow, this is a really good band. It's good sound," you know. And so I don't think we can we we can stop playing if we have the power to. But it's like we don't want to because of the meaning behind it and making sure people know about the song and about the person behind it too. So yeah, um, yeah. So I, I, for me, I can't stop playing that song because it it needs to be played. You know, it's uh, it's totally. cathartic as well. You know, there's some therapy there. It's. Uh, uh, it helps. It helps, uh, you know, not just us, but other people as well. And it's it's the song has directly touched a lot of people, um, and so uh, that's that's part of its part of its uh, you know how big it is, you know, not only to us but to a lot of our fans as well. So yeah, no, totally. I mean, the songs like that where you have the emotions on your sleeve like that, you, it's you're right. Like it's, it's difficult to play, but then in the same vein, healing and, and, and everything you know like the therapy aspect of yeah it, that's, so. that's the thing that's our that's our job per se you, and so we don't know who it's going to touch and what it's going to mean to them so we have to make sure we play that because you never know what it's going to mean to them you know so. right yeah totally what um what's the name of the album the name of the album is a settling of sorts how long did it take to come up with the name of that album i think the name was probably the easiest part of the was interview. it really i think so yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> it's just like okay and nobody contested it. it was like okay let's go with that that's hilarious because i've read i read a lot about you know i love reading about just musicians and bands and whatnot you know the popular ones unpopular whatever and it's always like they they's like oh we had like names like 10 or 12 uh, like 100 names for the album we had, couldn't pay like a photo for the you know the cover of the right, album or whatever right. like it takes forever but it just it just popped in there yeah, it was just there. Just I don't know. It's just a. It's a very basic saying. Not a saying. It's just it, it covers all facets. You know. It, yeah. It, and that's a rare occurrence in the band. Uh, <laughs> like like a total agreement. Like we've yeah, <laughs> we, we've approached the subject earlier of making everybody happy, and that was very rare for that to happen. So we're, we're we we feel happy about that. <laughs> yeah, especially. <laughs> Go ahead, Jack. <laughs> yeah, one of the only times. We have to agree that we have agreed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially with the six, seven members that we all have very different backgrounds and um, inspirations as musicians and people as well. So it's tough to come to that same ground as far as, hey, this is what we want to be, this is what we want to do, this is how we're going to be. You know? I'm so. glad you brought that up. Do, do you guys find, and anyone, feel free to jump in, just make sure you hit a mic. But do you guys find that now that you, you've had the album, now that you've come together as the band, that your inspirations have changed or grown at all? Grown, yes. Changed, probably as well, yeah. But you hear things from each member that maybe you wouldn't recognize without them. So you get different pieces from everybody. I think my taste uh, has grown significantly as far as the local market. I wasn't uh, I wasn't going to a ton of shows, ton of local music shows a lot before I joined. And then after joining, you know, we, we meet and hear all sorts of new, brilliant music here in Tampa. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a really nice nice aspect that we get to 
we get to dive into that and immerse ourselves in local music. So, I would say that if I had never joined Drop and Pickup, I wouldn't know half of what's going on in Tampa. Everyone says that Tampa's a dead city, but it's coming back and it's coming up and it's getting bigger than ever. And I think the local music scene is a big um, structure in that. I think it's building and it's getting bigger. And I'd have never known about WMNF if it wasn't for Drop and Pickup, so thank you guys as well. And it's a local thing. You've got to build what's around you to become a better thing in, in general. Yeah, and to touch on what Nick said, uh, for the people that say that, that our city's dead, it's like, what are they doing to, to make it better? They always complain about what they're actually doing. Are you going to shows? Are you going to support the arts? That's the question. If you're doing that, then I, I can't complain. But if you're not doing that, then make sure you are doing that because there's so much talent in the city. It's incredible. Yeah, no, I totally agree. That's why I'm doing this. It's right. like, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, well, it, it's because it was, I would go out to local shows and stuff, and it was cool because about five, six years ago, roughly when you guys started, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, venues were letting folks start to play their own like original like that started being cool you know right. like let the folks play their songs as opposed to just you know the Jimmy Buffett cover and all that stuff. Right. <laughs> so and you know, and I went so I was I was seeing all these bands like man these these guys are phenomenal and it's like hey I have a bully pulpit I I I, I can get these guys on the air so you know it's just bands like this and every single band that comes in I'm I'm blown away it's in no exception tonight so you guys are awesome thank you very much man thank yeah you. let's jump jump in. Yes, yeah. uh, this song Do is it. called Hunger.
Some something tells me that song can go on forever. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. I, I get I get the feeling that when that's played live, it's it's like a twelve or thirteen minute set. Did you say play it again? <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. So hunger was uh, the name of that tune. Yes, that sir. tune. So that I, I want to talk about that in, in a second. That one um, had a little bit more of of an, of an ongoing, I think, of a, of a jam aspect to it. Um, with the exception of Poseidon, I think that that I've heard uh, this evening, and then so with, with that one, you know, what it, letting go at a live show like that, like when when do you reel yourselves in, you know? Because you, you could just, I, I imagine, like you could just keep going. Well, it depends on the amount of time <clears throat> you book for a show. If you book four hours, well, you got to keep playing that song for at least twenty more minutes, guys. Yeah, right? Um, no, it's 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 a matter of it, if it feels old to the musician, you got like we have, let's, let's change it up here. You either get a different dynamic or just change the song altogether. So if there's nothing new coming out of these these jams, then we got to move on to something else, you know. Otherwise, it's, it's tiring or dust. If it's tiring or dust, then it's surely tiring to the listener. Yeah, no, oh, definitely. Can we talk about the song for a sec? Yeah, the song is called Hunger. It's about um, it's hidden desires and temptations, um, one night stands maybe, or not having one night stands maybe, you know. So things that you desire you can't necessarily have or you want to have, in all facets. And we all have. Them. And it's out there in the song. <laughs> All these songs. So we we heard "It's in You," "Cast Away," "Heart of Steel," uh, "Invincible," "Poseidon," "Hunger," and those are all on the album. Yes, sir. All right. So when when the album, I know I kind of I've touched on this, uh, but I, I just wanted to ask again, like with a song like "Hunger," right? And you're recording that on the album. Like when when do you press the stop button on that? You know, like because I imagine you could just. I, I mean, it, it feels right, but and you have that producer aspect in and then there. Right. But, you know, it, it seems to me that, you know, you want that song to grow and, and just feel it, which I imagine it does live. But how do you get that feel on the album as opposed to playing it live? At the same time, too, you're thinking about uh, salability, I would say, yeah. as far as who would who would buy the song. And because we are musicians, we do need to make a living off of stuff at some point. And so you're not necessarily sacrificing your sound for it, but you want to make something that's condensed, has the best qualities about it and is um, marketable in a way, you know? Without salvaging, without uh, sacrificing yourself, your image, whatever you're trying to go for. Awesome. So, um, I think we, we captured all the things we were going for with each instrument, and each each feel of those those chords and strings, and whatever else is being played, and then we let that write itself out. Well, if you're liking what you hear, and I bet you are, drop and pick up is the name of the band. Drop and pick up, which is d r o p i n uh, pickup dot com, is is their website, or you can just Google it, and all that stuff will come up. They have an album just came out a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Buy the album. Right? Thank you. Support local music. That's what this show's all about. Yes. All day? Yeah. And they're going on tour. It's yeah. A, it's official. Woo! On tour. It's been said on the radio. It's official. We're stoked. <laughs> we're all stoked. We're all stoked. <laughs> <laughs> we need to ride home. All right. Um, <laughs> we're actually playing for a sandwich. Um, starving musicians, um, but yeah, but uh, so yeah, so buy the album, support local music. That's that's what this show is all about, and that's that's what we're trying to do here. If you know a band uh, musician that, that wants to come in on this show, have them hit me up. Uh, Twitter's the best at local music radio. You can also have them email me at local uh, local music radio at gmail dot com, uh, or just call up the station. They they can get in contact with me as well. And we can't personally thank you guys enough for doing this. Thank you, Rihanna. Thank you, Alistair, for being here tonight. Thank you very much yes. for what you do for the community for the arts. It's it's incredible. You sacrifice all your time and energy to make this happen. So thank you guys. Hey, my pleasure. And then if um, uh, eleven is too late for some, you can always go to the website wnf dot org. Archives. Find the archives. Exactly. This show will stream for a whole week. <clears throat> until my next show with uh, Samantha Lee next month, uh, next week comes up, and then uh, and the podcast coming soon. So stay tuned for that. I think we're still. I'm still very privileged that we were the first act ever put on the show. That's ever, like, I'm still, ever, ever. So off of that, right? Yeah. And then and then I, I contacted you. I was like, oh, I want to get you guys back. That'd be fantastic. And you're like, no, can't make it, man. Sorry. <laughs> Who said that? We're, <laughs> we're, we're too busy now. <laughs> Maybe next month. <laughs> No, but thanks for coming in. It, it sounds phenomenal. It sounds great. So, um, and then uh, second half of the show coming up, we're going to so, feature some local music from around the Bay Area and, and from other states. So stick around for that. Musicians wanted at the uh, the second hour. You guys want to play us into that? You got it. Uh, again, we got different songs. All right, this, we have a choice between Atlantis, the Super Tramp, Super Tramp, Super Tramp. Super Tramp. Super Tramp. Super Tramp. Karen, this song's for you. This song's called Alexander Super Tramp. This song's called Alexander Super Tramp. <laughs> I was already to go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. No. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Take away everything I own. Join the chase to find it all. You talk about. Just my ghost, cause I won't 
Pickup, D-R-O-P-I-N, Pickup. You can go to the website, dropandpickup.com. They are in the live music studio. They were laying down those tunes the entire evening. If you're just now tuning in, go to the archives and listen again to that because it was, it, was, it was a killer set. Uh, we, heard, we heard about seven songs from them, all the songs you can find on that album, and it was fantastic. I want to thank the guys again for coming in. Musicians Wanted on WMNF Tampa, Community Conscious Radio. I'm your host, RJ. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I really appreciate it. We're going to just like Drop and Pick Up did tonight. Drop and Pick Up. Phenomenal set. you got to go to the archives. Listen. Go to the WMNF.org. Find this show. Musicians want it.